Okay, we are back for the last camp, uh, for at least for the next little while. But surely, I mean, the, the, you, thank you guys actually for all of the feedback that you've been sending us um, um, and the evals that you've been filling up. So it sounds like you guys are actually having a great time. Um, so I think we're actually going to continue this and we'll hopefully bring you more camps as uh, time goes on for today. Today we are talking about phone, but interestingly enough, we are talking about phone from a different perspective. And, and sort of as you went through all of the different camps and you, you kind of went through the web camp and the .NET camp, by the way, if you haven't gone through that camp, we're going to have a couple of links for you um, shortly in terms of where you can get that content. But what we thought we would do with this one is kind of go at it from a different perspective. Usually you have, you know, like the Windows Phone, the standard ones where, um, you know, somebody's talking about, um, you know, how, what you can do on the platform, native apps, XAML, and so on. And we'll cover some of that. But um, what Paul actually has for us today is something really interesting where you can mix and match the web world with the Windows Phone world. Um, Fascinating stuff. So um, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I don't want to ruin his thunder. Um, he'll just get mad at me, and then uh, nothing good will come out of that. So why don't you get us started again? If you don't know about the developer movement, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background about the developer movement. Um, and for those of you, before you're going to start hammering um, the the chat there about it possibly ending today, um, it's going to get extended. Okay, keep that between us here. Um, look for official word on the developer movement site soon. Um, but yes, if you have apps, just get them in as soon as you can, um, and we'll go from there. Um, you know, no tweeting and stuff like that. Okay, fine. I know you're going to do it anyway, but I haven't told you anything that I haven't told other people. So, um, like I said, look for the official word on the website. In the meantime, um, let me tell you a little bit about. Um, the developer movement. And really, it's just a fun way of building Windows Store and Windows Phone applications. Um, and ideally, you're going to have it with the Windows Azure backend, um, simply because obviously you're going to want to start sharing things across the multiple platforms, or even maybe give your users a better experience with the cloud, so on and so forth. Um, so the more you add on to it, of course, the more points you get, which actually is what developer movement is all about. The more you build, the more points you get, the more you get rewards. And so basically, just what you see on the screen there is basically how all of these rewards break down for you. Um, you know, you register for the developer movement, you get 1,000 points right there. You publish an app, start getting more points. And the more and more you do, the more and more applications you get, the more points add up in your bucket of points, let's say, all working towards, and you can see there a list of a whole bunch of different things that you can get, anywhere from like simple stuff like a blender or a shaker to business cases, Xbox stuff, home theaters, screens. Actually, just yesterday, someone tweeted me that they're getting um, they're getting their TV shipped. Someone else tweeted that they're getting some Xbox stuff. So, um, really good stuff, right? All for building an app. So, if you don't think you're going to be able to get in five apps. One is a good start, and uh, you can you can build up from there. But make sure you do. Now, of course, to help you with all that, you have all these developer movement uh, camps that we've been doing. Yes, this one's the last one, but I'm going to give you the links in a second to all of the ones that we've done previously, just so that you can kind of see where you feel most comfortable um, building your apps. And on top of that, of course, you do have developer mentors that are available to help you. You know, recommend different things, troubleshoot, um, you know, give you ideas of what you can do, give you help if you get stuck with anything instead of sifting through the internet and so on and so forth. So if you are interested in getting a developer movement, just let me know. It's as simple as that. Send an email to developer uh, movement at Microsoft.com and let me know where you are in Canada. Let me know what you're thinking of doing in terms of what technologies you're planning on doing. And let me know whether you want to meet with your mentor either in person, online, either or, you don't care. Um, that way, I will make sure to get the right person aligned to you and you can get uh, going with that. Last but not least, because I do want to get you onto Paul's sessions, here are all the links for you. All of the camps other than today's, obviously, because we're doing this live, um, are all available for you on demand. You have all the links there, or I'll post them in the chat as soon as I get off the screen. Because um, actually, you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to do both just so that you can actually see that we're having a good time here in the studio. So it's aka.ms dm camps. And yes, I'm typing on my surface, by the way. Uh, dm camps. There you go. All right. 
And I knew that question was going to come in. When's the end date? Stay tuned to developermovement.ca, and you'll get that end date. Um, they'll update the site soon. Um, so with that, you have all the links. You have um, the information for the different camps if you want to go through those. You don't have to watch them all, um, but I do recommend at least go through what each one has so that you can pick and choose what you want to see. So with that, let's, uh, let's get you on to um, Paul's uh, awesomeness, if you will. And he's going to laugh at me. He's actually sitting right, out, uh, right outside. He's going to start laughing at me when I do that. But you know what? It's our last one. We're going to have a great time with this. You guys are going to have great fun online. Make sure you get those questions put in there. Um, we'll get uh, a whole bunch of developer uh, mentors that are, are actually online. We'll answer those for you. Paul will answer them when he can, either in between sessions um, or definitely at the end of the day. Let's have fun with it. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. We're just going to take a couple of seconds to switch over here, and uh, we'll get going.